So I don't know exactly what, but there was a lot of black smoke down there. I don't know if they derailed. It looks like that one car is kind of kind of leaning over there, but I can't really tell. I'm sorry for bad camera angle. What's... Or is there a fire or something? I don't know. Looks like a fire. Did they hit a vehicle, maybe? I got binoculars. I got them in my... Double first if it is, because I also got a piece of coal laying in my mouth. And I have that on my finger too, but I didn't. So what happened was one of the chutes on one of the hoppers open is what it looks like. Dumping coal all over the tracks. So I don't think we'll be seeing any major action for a little bit. There isn't oh or there is a westbound coming too. Uh, maybe I should switch my upload schedule. I think I might do that. So you can see the coal there lying on the tracks. I couldn't tell what it was at first, but it's getting cold out here too. That's not good. But anyway, so if you hear me shivering a little bit, so this is an Omaha, I think it's Omaha public power train. I think that's what it's called. Omaha public power coal train. Uh, I saw one of these in Grand Island. <laughs> shivering. Saw one of these in Grand Island a few months ago. Well, I was actually back in August. And... There's a video on that, if you want to see that too. It's going under that, uh, Under the BNSF tracks in... Grand Island. <coughs> I should put on my heavier coat. This is interesting. 
So like I said, you can see the coal lying there on the ground, and there's not really much to talk about, because I don't know. I wonder if it, if the one car derailed and screwed something up underneath it or what. I don't know. I think I'm going to go home and upload this. If, if I do, maybe I'll put something, I don't know. I don't think they're going to be going anywhere for a while. Unless they want to dump all their coal off the tracks. Or on the tracks, I mean. Put my glasses back on. kind of wish I was on the other side. So I could tell whether it... There, there's a bunch on the other track, too, or not. I also wish I had a railroad, you know, with a frequency, a radio, I mean, with the frequencies for this, because that'd be interesting. I don't know if I'm shaking because cold or shaking because of, uh, because of excitement, because that happens too. Kind of another inter interesting thing here is this train stopped some geese. This train stopped and uh we'll zoom out here. Sorry about that. Just wind and shaking and whatever. This car number 888. And if you think it's covered up there, no it's actually 888. Omaha Public Power, I think. So, this is an interesting uh, little accident. I wish I would have been a mile over. I was gonna do that, and then I... So I didn't full-on catch the accident. Sorry for the zooming problems. There you go, it's in the center of your screen, basically. Coal lying all over the tracks. The ballast. And you think it's, I think it's pretty funny. I was just talking before the last train went about safety because this crossing has a stop sign on it. It's kind of ironic that this happens just the next train. But then again, it's not ironic because of, uh, you know, it, it wasn't a car accident. It was just train loses coal on the tracks. So this has been a kind of special day for me, I guess. Uh, well, first of all, the second train I saw, th this will all be in a later video, by the way. It'll be something about long trains on the Union Pacific, I don't know. But the first one I saw, or the second one I saw, rather, was... 215 units long, I think. Somewhere in the 200s. Early 200s. And that was a stack train. And that had five engines, you know, three at the front and two at the back, or two in the middle, roughly. And that was interesting to see. Um, and then these idiot drivers here are running the stop sign. That too. It's kind of interesting to catch one of those on film. And then this. The surprising thing is, 
every train on this track that I filmed today, not that I've seen, but that I've filmed, has been over a hundred cars long. I'm betting this one is over a hundred. I'm gonna try and jog over them all, and maybe, maybe catch a better video picture of this. If you want to see the end of the train, I'll show you that first. My tripod is loose. I don't like that. So that's how far the train goes back yet. I don't know what car number we're at. I guess there's another interesting car number right in front of 88. Or 888, there's... Uh... 70, 1771 over there. You probably can't see that too well. I'm, I'm gonna go try and see what I can see here. So it also looks like in this little accident that the engines in the back, whatever the numbers are, I can't tell from where I'm sitting. Uh, it looks like they got their doors swung open, at least on that first one there. Uh, it, I probably got about half a mile. I'm gonna go before it gets dark and see what's happening. So there's a view of the hopper car. It looks like uh, one of the chutes opened, maybe. I'm not, I can't tell for sure. It was hard to find it along this line. Even with just some of the coal like that, I couldn't tell driving up that, that half mile. It looks like it's on the rails. Uh, so I don't really know. The power stopped so close from the crossing. It stopped right on the crossing. Virtually the couplers between the engines are right in the middle of the crossing. I'll show you that. Because that's all about the... And this camera is fully zoomed in right now. Luckily it, it didn't go all blurry. So that's the power. Again. Kind of interesting. Just another first for me today on February 27th, 2018. Railroad Sign Production. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff for more great rail fanning content. So I just got to the crossing uh, where I just filmed about half a mile from here. And uh, the train is moving now. It's been literally about a minute and a half since my last minute, my last, last clip. And uh, so they're probably going to go put the car on a siding somewhere. And I was just leaving and I saw them starting to move so I quick threw it out of reverse and drove up here. So we're going to watch that other car.
that's about it for this train, I guess. Uh, like and subscribe. Railroad Time Production. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is getting cold out here. Um, and the sun just went down a little bit ago right before this train moved. And I'm calling it quits for the day. But I got not a lot of nice video. Not a lot. Bleh. A lot of nice trains coming up for you in the next few months. So, like and subscribe, Railroad Time Productions.